Our thoughts about God and heaven matter. Of whatever we may be growing up, people may think that God is a uh, an old man living in the clouds with a big white beard. No. The Bible says God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth, the Bible says. And especially the thing about heaven, I had a friend of mine who told me that he thought of heaven as playing a harp on a cloud for eternity. And he said, oh, that's kind of boring. I'd rather go to hell. No, he was gravely mistaken. Our thoughts about God and heaven matter. Don't let... Don't disillusion yourself about heaven, heaven and God and such. Like read, read about it. Try to get to know the real stuff, because <laughs> it's worth the fight. Heaven is more beautiful than you can possibly imagine. God is more amazing than you can possibly imagine. Just throw away all those junky cartoon stuff and whatever. That's just made up by comedians who never had a relationship with God, or maybe just angry at God because people who used him were probably were probably using him wrong. They're just suffering. They're just suffering from a whole life of hurt and trying to, I don't know, get revenge or whatever, just angry about stuff. That's completely understandable. I could have been in their shoes for a while. People can do stupid and bad things when they're hurt. Try getting in touch with the real stuff and don't adhere to all this fantasy stuff you're making up about heaven and God which are not true and in no way compatible to biblical truth. Let me encourage you about something. If you truly want to know the true stuff about God and heaven and such, just click on these three things. Seminar by Ken Hoven or Ken Ham. This will be your father's love letter, and this will be the documentary about Light of the World. It will explain everything about from the Bible cover to cover clearly for you. Just encouraging you as a friend. So, that's all I have to say. Peace out, keep thinking, Jesus bless you, and TTFN, ta for now.